There is no instruction on building insects. So people try to patent different things. You can't really patent an animal or an insect because they're available. It's what you put into them, the way you make them look. You have to add your own twist to certain things to make it look special and to be special. And that's what I did. I went back to the Mesozoic age for this giant beast. So now, find the glue. This right here is it's what they call a hardening process. Get the glue, that's how it works. So your wings will be like plastic. Uh, puncture proof almost, this glue is pretty hard. Put the glue on there, take your brush, and stroke it into it and the glue will dry. It might be like hard plastic. It takes a couple of seconds, well, maybe an hour or two for it to dry. But when it's done, flip it over, do the other side. This is protection for like rough. I'm not doing the spot because I have to cut this wing open right here and put a um, set up a section for the wing rack. That process, the glue is like the glue. It hardens. It hardens like a, a plastic. It makes it real hard. If you have a rough landing, that'll be almost impossible for anything to puncture puncture through the wings. Let the top, let do the top first, and then you do the bottom. All that tape is going to I'm gonna do the same thing. I normally cover my wings in monocoat, but I don't have any monocoat today. The same process it would be, but uh, these are they're gonna get spray painted today because it's all the time you use monocoat, the thing called a monocoat iron that's for gas engines, but this is going to be all electric. I spilled a bottle of glue on a piece of paper and I didn't clean the mess up until a few days later and I looked at it and I tried to stick something through it. I, it was on a piece of paper and it was so hard. I said, wow. And then so I, I took the idea from that little mistake to put it on the wings to help save the wings. And so if, if it gets in a situation of a rough landing, that it will help protect the wings and also um, keep, it's like a pressure pressurizing and covering holes if you don't use monocle because on the certain on the certain speeds if you have a hole in your wing and you're flying at a high altitude your whole wing can can explode because of because of vacuum pressure your plane does do it around maybe 60 or 70 miles an hour um you, if you have a hole the whole thing will explode and you, you lose you, you lose the airplane and this and this right here i have to finish repairing fixing it up so i can fix it for the rack I gotta build a second rack to sit back here. And, and this right here, this is this is a prototype of the ducted fan. It's gonna have four of these. 
with uh, extra batteries. I might have to do a little bit of research on to get how to get four, get the four batteries to, to, to work on one channel. But um, we're gonna hook something up. And uh, this is uh, after every, the eyes are covered. The eyes right here are covered because of uh, I got to finish painting. And I got two little pilots in the front. The canopy flips up like this. And I got a rear tail section. Then here's where the second wing rack will fit in at, right here. These wings will be sitting like in an up, second wing rack is right here. So these wings will be sitting like in an upward position. They'll be sitting in an upward, upward position like so. Like this here. While the other wings will be sitting at a, a straight flat position. This is for lift. To give it more of the insect look. It looks like a giant bug already, but uh, and I got to finish uh, detailing the rear end, the tail right here. And then after I de finish de detailing the tail, I'm gonna hit it from a spray paint. I'm gonna hit it with some green. So that's what's going on for today. Bugs took some time to put together.